Alright, hello everybody. It has been a while since I made a Rocket League video, so it's good to see y'all again. Um, I'm going to be doing a settings video because I haven't done one in quite some time. And, um, well, they have changed quite a bit, so if any of you actually consistently watch my videos, which is basically nobody, then here are your chances, or here is your chance, excuse me, to uh, learn my settings. So, let's go over them right now. It's so a gameplay... Pretty much none of this makes any sense, nor does it really matter. Um, for tournaments, I do US West, and uh, I do have cross-platform on. And everything else here is just pretty much default. Um, I only do main stats, although sometimes I do no stats, just depending on what I feel like. Uh, here's the camera settings. Um, pretty standard competitive camera settings. I really don't freestyle anymore. Um, so obviously I got 110 field of view, 270 distance, 90 height, angles negative five. I kind of like it just a little bit flatter. Stiffness, I really like it pretty stiff. I just feel like I have more control over my car, so I have that 0.7. Uh, swivel speed at five, I just find it good, and then transition speed at one, because um, I like smooth transitions for the ball cam. So that's pretty much it. No invert swivel, no camera shake, of course. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anybody with those on, to be honest. So. Let's go over the controls. Um, I use an Xbox controller, uh, just a Series X black controller. I'll put a, a picture of it up on the screen. Steering sensitivity 1.06, 1.4 aerial sensitivity. Controller dead zone 0.41. Uh, I'm actually just going to make that flat 0.4. Dodge dead zone is 0.77. I really like a high dead zone for this, so I'm not missing flips like back flipping or anything when I shouldn't be. Um, I don't have vibration on. Ball cam is toggle, um, and this, this is all KBM stuff, which I don't use. So, over the key binds, pretty much everything is stock except for power slide. Um, although this, actually, I don't know if this is stock. Here's all my key binds. So, drive forward, pretty much all this is the same. I have air roll as Y. Um, ball cam is left bumper. Rear view, uh, here's all my air steers, of course. Skip replay, just as A. I mean, it's pretty... Everything here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, see, here's all my quick chats and whatnot. And then I think I have... Yes, so I do air roll right. Um, I don't do air roll left. I've always stuck with air roll right, which I don't know where the control is, to be honest. But I have air roll right as right bumper. Um, I don't know where it is. I apologize. I don't know what really... I was severely unprepared for underprepared for this video. Here it is. So I have arrow left just uh, unbound, and if I do need the left, I just hold the Y and just um, steer with left stick. So that's pretty much all of my keybinds that I've changed. Interface 75 scale, 97% uh, display scale, nameplate 100%. Pretty much all of this is um, default. Connection quality indicators on. Um, because I want to know when I'm teleporting around the field personally. Color blind mode off. I really don't know why anybody would play with this on. Um, social notifications, yeah, I have that on. Just really haven't changed that. Team color boost meter, I do have that on. I like the look of it. Um, I do use metric units for you know pinching and stuff. Um, pinches are obviously measured in kilometers per hour about 99% of the time. Any world record you've ever seen is like... 200 kilometers an hour not miles per hour because that would be exorbitantly faster ball cam indicator i have on ball arrow yes that helps severely i don't have performance graphs on uh no platform friends so i use a 1920 by 1080 16 by 9 monitor um use full screen no v-sync i use 165 hertz which i actually have it on 240 fps i like to cap my fps as you can see there on the right um the reason for that is so I'm not using as much of my computer power shooting for like 500, 600 FPS, which is going to be inconsistent. So I'd rather just set a limit at 240, and it's it's worked very well for me. So they recommend 164, but I always go a little bit higher than that. So 240 is fine. Custom render detail, high quality render quality, because um, if you do high performance, it's just going to look awful. Um, no anti-alias aliasing. I don't know why I don't have that on. So it's supposed to be FXAA high. I apologize. So, um, advanced settings, pretty much everything's on low. I just have competitive settings on. 
Um, so high performance texture detail, performance world detail, particle detail at performance as well, and effect intensity at default. Low quality, I just, I personally even haven't really seen a difference. Um, and then everything off except for weather effects and there should be transparent goalposts somewhere. Or maybe that's just a thing now. Transparent goalposts. Okay, well, that's that's all I have on. Anyways, um, when I do want the game to look a little bit better, I turn all these on high. And I do high quality shaders, bloom, light shafts, lens flares, and dynamic shadows. And that's how I get the game to look pretty nice. And that's usually when I freestyle. So we'll go into training and kind of check this out in the daytime. So you can see. I like this when I'm freestyling or just screwing around with friends because I don't really care about my performance in the game um, when I'm doing competitive. But when I am doing competitive, I just switch this all down. It also lets me focus a little bit more so I'm not having shadows fly across my screen and whatnot and you know lens flares. So that's how it's going to look like in comp. All right, so video is all done. Audio. Um, I use a HyperX Cloud 2 headset. So I use 24% master, although this does change quite a lot. This is... This really doesn't matter. 20% gameplay. Music completely off. I never use voice chat, so I haven't really messed with this. Uh, crowd and ambient is off. Um, I personally just don't like these. I think it's very distracting, and sometimes the crowd gets annoying chanting defense when I'm 10 goals down. So, you know. Uh, I do use headphones, obviously. Dynamic range, none. Um, soundtrack should be off. I don't know why those were checked. No soundtrack at all. Um, although I will turn it on the menu because sometimes it goes hard. Player anthems, matches only. Um, mute, unfocus, stream, save, use it. Yeah, anyways. Um, text and quit chat. Again, this doesn't really matter. Um, you guys don't really need to know about this. This is just my quick chats. And here you go if you want them. Alright, so that is pretty much it. Hope this helped. If anybody's looking for my settings... And um, I will see you guys hopefully in some future Rocket League content. I am thinking of getting back into YouTube, but we'll see how that actually works out. I'm not too sure. So I will see you guys then. Bye.